One. Hey everyone, I'm Cynthia Conte for Ring TV, Summer Lynn. Good to see you again. I, I have to actually say your full name, Summertime Lynn Shy. Am I right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> throw that in there you know it took me so long to remember the word shy because you know that show the, the uh the shy the, <laughs> I kept saying chi chi like as in the hair product oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah. such an idiot <laughs> but um well that's obviously it's an obvious name of where you're from from Chicago welcome yeah. to Los Angeles thank you thank you ah you're gonna actually be making your debut we're just gonna get right into it you're gonna be making your Los Angeles debut, actually your California debut this Saturday on the Marv Nations card in Pomona uh, at the Derby Room. And you're going to be fighting, uh, I, I, I don't want to butcher your name because apparently everywhere I looked, it was very different. Jake, Jacob Pavelis, she's from ha Haiti. Her record is two and four with one draw and one KO. Now I know when we say um, that kind of record, everyone's like, oh my God, summer is just going to blow her out of the water. But she apparently, all her fights that she's been in, she has fought undefeated fighters and she's actually beat some. So no, do you know anything about her? So I personally don't like to look too much into my opponents. Um, I just like to fight how they are uh, when they come into the ring. Um, but I do, I do watch a little bit of what their sparring sessions were or their last fights just to pick up on their style a little bit, just so that I know what is to come. Yeah. But you don't know necessarily what is to come on fight night. It could be totally different. It'd be uh -huh. totally, it could change. Like from your last fight to your next one, it could be totally different. You have a different, you always train something new. So I am prepared for everything. Rick has prepared me for almost literally every scenario you could think of. So I think I'm in pretty good shape. I think that's great is that when people say that I just fight, you know, when you watch someone or your trainer watches them, you prepare them for that person, but you never know, they can come out with a whole new bag of tricks and you're like, oh shit, <laughs> what am I going to do now? But yeah. um, I really like you because I interviewed you on our show that we just released our actual first episode, Giandra and I, uh, it's now the title is best women's boxing show period. Uh, but you obviously saw what we were about. We talk about women's sports, women boxing, we lead in with that, but we also talk about men's, but, um, so I got to interview and we're going to eventually get to drop your episode sometime down this month. Cause we're doing it once a month, but anyways, back to this interview, <laughs> but you're looking <laughs> I had to drop that in. But you're, well, for, for folks that don't know Summer Lynn, I mean, she's a, you've had what, how, 15 amateur fights, am I correct? Correct, yep. And then you came up into the big leagues. And I found it very interesting when you said you didn't, you don't think your style is right for Olympics. You never cared to go to the Olympics. You wanted to go pro. Why is that? So I did nationals uh, twice. And each time it was just me watching the other girls that were there that were like supposed to be Olympic stars their styles are very touch and go. And I personally like to sit in the middle of the ring and fight. Like that's what boxing is. We're, we're fighting. We're not, we're not touching. We're not like, you're not here to score points. Yes. I don't, yeah. I don't want to score points. I want to score knockouts. Like I want to, <laughs> like, I like, like that. I'm going to title it. This is your, that's your interview title. I don't like points. <laughs> I like to score knockouts. It's true though. Like the feeling that you get, of a knockout it is beyond different from any other feeling you could ever get it's 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 so weird and it's such a good feeling because you know how much work and effort and sweat and tears and blood that go on behind the scene so you when you get that win from actually fighting and doing everything that you practice in practice yeah it, it just makes it so much better mm. and it, it has like such a big relief and like you're like okay well now what's the next thing I could learn from there yeah. when you touch and go it's just like you're kind of like tagging the person you don't really get to show the, how much power you have and that I want to show people that I I do have power even though I'm a girl I'm a woman I have power I have knockout power or I have power to to give somebody a standing eight count like wow. you know you're the very first person to ever I've interviewed many female boxers and you're the first person it's bold enough to say I have knockout power and I will knock her out like I mean well, some people just say I'm it just to say, say it I'm not gonna say but that. you I, know your power 
I do know my power. Yeah. I do know, and we spar only men. Rick has only sparred us with men, and they take it to us. They they're not they're not gonna shy away from getting hit by a girl. It kind of hurts their ego in a way, I guess. So, I mean, they're going to take it. <laughs> Have you actually, I mean, without naming any names, have you ever dropped and knocked out a, a, a male sparring partner? Um, I'm yes. Yes. yes? Okay. I mean, we don't, much. we won't have to say names, so they are not, you know, <laughs> you, um, I know that Jessica McCaskill, obviously you have been training under her, under, alongside of her, because obviously Rick Ramos. Uh, and you've been training with Rogramo since you were like a wee little girl, like a little, oh, little yes. girl. Very so well. do you get in the ring with Jessica and do you spar and do you, does she teach you a few tricks? Um, yes, we, we usually do. Um, but since I've gotten a little bit older, we just kind of, we don't really spar with this too much. We kind of keep us separate. Um, but I definitely learn a lot from watching her and okay. watching her spar. I think that's a little bit better aspect of learning is from watching somebody. I'm always the person in the room where I'm, I will sit back from the commotion and I'll watch everybody. And then I will pick up on what they're saying or what they're doing and I'll implement that into my style or I'll pick up on certain things. I'm like, oh, I really like how that person word that. And I'll say that too in my own way. I like to pick up on things. I'm very observant. I like to watch and then I like to do. So that's okay. the type of like learner I am instead well, of. I also think if you spar too much with Jessica, you guys might know each other's game plans because eventually oh, yeah. you might have to get into the ring because she is also, she's the undisputed welterweight queen and you are in the welterweight division. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. We definitely talked about that. Um, just got to have the right timing and the right um when everything is right mm -hmm. both down there's no there's no bad blood there's all good love I love her very much she, I respect her very much I'm very grateful for everything she's taught me she's taught me she's the first space of the person who made me want to become professional just from oh. watching her and being behind the scenes of of every of all her fights I was there in London for her first Katie Taylor uh fight Nobody knew who I was, but I was there and I got to see it. I got to see the training. I got to help her train for that. Um, oh, wow. You got that so, front seat. Yeah. She took me along and uh, she made this path for me. And I want to do that for whoever's behind me. So it's just kind of like, that's how our rules in our gym is. It's like, okay, well, Jessica paved the way for me. I'm going to pay for the way for whoever's coming up next. Like that's how we roll in our gym. And it's, that's, that's our team for monomy. Like we, that's what, how we, we roll as a team basically. And, and, and it's all, great. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Oh yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, I'm really grateful for her and all her opportunities that she's been able to give me because without her putting Chicago on the map, I don't know where I would be, you know? Mm -hmm. I know obviously I'd be somewhere, but as well known. It's time for you to get out of Jessica's shadows. Yes, and definitely. time to be the summertime Lynn that you want the world to know. I'm very excited for you to be um, to be on this card. And uh, can you just tell all your followers, all your fans, Ring TV fans, Fight Star TV fans, where they can tune in and um, yeah, why <laughs> why should they tune in to watch <laughs> you? Really? <laughs> well, so. You guys could uh, follow me on all my social uh, platforms. Uh, it's mostly summertime shy underscore on Instagram. I believe it's summer underscore 9151 on Twitter. Yeah. I'm going to bring a really exciting fight. That's what I'm really been training for for the last, um, last time since I fought. And I've been in the gym nonstop. I haven't took a break nor anything. Rick wouldn't let me. So mm -hmm. I'm going to hope to bring a good show tonight, uh, that night on that Saturday. Uh, for the people that don't know your style, you just said you're a very aggressive fighter, you're a pressure fighter, you are a knockout artist. Uh, who do you emulate? Or when you look uh, out of any fighter, could be professional, mm -hmm. who do you emulate? Emulate? Mm -hmm. Who do you think your style, your style is, looks like? Your fighting style is like? Rick would always tell me that I kind of, I 
kind of remind him of Canelo, the way that he just walks people down. He's always the smaller person in the ring, mm-hmm. but he he makes that even that other person, if somebody's so smaller, he makes it into the, his fight. His fight. And that's what I do. I oh. like to make it my fight. I don't want to. I want to set the pace. I want to be the person to be like, this is my fight. I'm going to dictate how I'm going to fight. I don't want to fight somebody else's fight because then it gets a little too messy. You don't know. You don't know your game plan because your plans just went up in the air. So I want to make everything my fight. I want to, I want to make it my game plan. Well, summertime, Lynn, see, now I'm just going to keep calling you summertime. It's summertime shy. (laughs) Summer, good luck to you this Saturday. We can't wait to see you in the ring. I can't wait to see, I want to see some knockouts. You know me, you know, I love a knockout, but I can't wait to really see you fight for the first time here in Los Angeles in sunny LA. Enjoy this weather. Oh, yes, please. This (laughs) is um, raining right now and it's cold and I need some sun. You need some sun. I I am very pale. (laughs) So I need some. Oh, just stand outside. You'll get maybe a little red and then maybe work on that base tan. All right. I'd rather be red than pale. (laughs) Good. Well, good luck to you, Summer. And for tickets, look up marvnationspromotions.com or go to Summer's uh, all of her socials and find out when this fight is. Or actually, you know, it's Saturday, but tune in. She's going to give us one hell of a show. Thank you, Summer. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm Cynthia Conte for Ring TV. See you guys at the fights. Bye, guys.